Well, as you get ready to head out the door on this Thursday morning, let's turn to meteorologist Zoe Minz because a little bit of change in the forecast from what we had yesterday. Yes, don't enjoy the fog or get used to it for too long because the heat is on the way as the fog begins to clear over the next couple of hours. That fog, though, is still pretty constant early this morning and it's keeping our temperatures nice and cool. We're in the 50s all across the Bay Area. By the afternoon, though, we are expecting all of the clouds to clear. So let's take a look at that because, yes, it's pretty foggy early this morning, but the fog is not going to last very much longer. All of our marine layer is actually going to be peeling back and even our coastal communities are going to be seeing more sunshine this afternoon. Highs today going to be about 10 degrees warmer for our inland locations, getting into the upper 80s from Antioch over to Fairfield, Concord and Livermore. Still sitting in the mid to lower 60s along our coastal communities, kind of just depending on where you are. But by tomorrow, we are expecting those temperatures to warm up significantly. So today, yes, it's about 10 degrees warmer. By tomorrow, about 10 degrees warmer than that. High temperatures tomorrow afternoon going to be in the mid to upper 90s compared to mid to upper 80s today. So the heat is only going to build more and more through the later parts of the upcoming work week. But if we take a look at the next seven days, it's not going to last much longer than that by the weekend when most of us have outdoor plans. It should be moderating back out to more seasonable upper 80s today, upper 90s by tomorrow. Who definitely feel that heat before more seasonable conditions this weekend. But then this is going to be the bigger impact early next week, upper 90s to triple digit high temperatures returning to the forecast for our inland location and even areas around the bay are going to be seeing those high temperatures sitting in the 80s. For those of us that don't have air conditioning, upper 80s to near 90, that is very, very hot. So I hope everybody keeps that in mind for next week, but enjoy the cooler start to our day today.